In this video, I'm gonna talk about the one thing that you need in order to succeed in blockchain. All right, so if you're trying to become a blockchain developer or you really wanna work in blockchain uh, in any way, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this whole video. All right, so if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University, and on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you wanna take that next step to mastering blockchain, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's talk about this one, you know, most important, most critical thing if you're trying to succeed in blockchain, all right? So I'm trying to do a better job of answering some of these questions on YouTube that I get from you all uh, in my email inbox and, uh, you know, in the comment section as well. It's hard for me to get to everybody, but I'm gonna try to pick the ones that stick out um, that I can get to and answer them here on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question today. Uh, I can't quite pronounce the name here, so I'm not really gonna try on this one. Uh, my apologies, but I'm just going to, uh, you know, address you directly here. So his question is, uh, I want to learn blockchain to become a blockchain consultant uh, for supply chain management, and I'm also doing my doctoral studies in that area. What certification or courses do I need now to become effective? All right. So that's a great question. Um, but what I'm gonna do is answer your question, but also point you in a little bit of a different direction uh, than you may have expected with this answer. So uh, hang tight and I'll, I'll answer all your question here. So the first thing I wanna say about this is there may be more to this equation than uh, what you're asking. So you were kinda of asking like what courses you need uh, to become effective and what certifications, and it looks like you're doing a degree, which is awesome, you know, this is uh, doctorate level uh, stuff. So this this is great, you know, congratulations on pursuing this to this level. You're probably a lot further along in your studies than most people watching this channel. Um, so hats off to you for that one, for sure. So what I would say though, is, um, you know, even if you get your doctorate degree, even if you find the perfect certification and courses, there's still one thing that you are going to need in order to become effective and succeed in this. And this is what I really wanna help you with um, because it's not just you, this will help everyone who's trying to you know, become a professional in blockchain who's watching this channel, right? Whether they're just trying to do the self-taught route, whether they're going to school for computer science or getting an advanced degree like you, this is still the unifying thing that everyone needs, all right? And that's one of the reasons I wanna make this video and answer your questions. Question. Okay, so what is it? And I get this question a lot because people say, you know, what can, can I get a certification? Uh, a lot of people ask me that for my blockchain developer bootcamp. Yes, I do offer certifications inside of there. Um, but I'll tell you what the most important thing is you need results that you can show people. Okay, so let me explain what that is. And that's really for everyone watching. So at the end of the day, like whatever certification you have, whatever courses you've taken, you know, whatever degrees you might have, at the end of the day, whoever's hiring you, whether as an employee or a consultant, is ultimately looking for the types of results that you can produce for them. So how do you show them? Well, you know, like I said, one factor is they'll look at your education, but they'll want to look beyond that, right? They'll want to look to, um, you know, what have you done in the past and how have you helped other people? And will that be an indicator of how you can help me if I'm an employer, I own a business or, you know, whatever I am who I'm hiring you, okay? So how do you do this? How do you show this to someone? I get this question a lot for people who are trying to get their first blockchain developer job or become a freelancer or become consultants, whatever it is. So um, I almost always recommend doing something for free first. Not necessarily for the person who you're trying to uh, get a job with, but just something that proves what you can do that's probably gonna cost you in terms of your time, maybe some money, but what it's gonna do is get you some really valuable things in the long run. It's gonna get you experience, and it's also uh, going to like show what you can do. It's gonna show that you can produce the types of results that someone's looking for, okay? So um, for new developers, what I typically tell them to do is build a portfolio of some kind. They're just gonna spend their time uh, building a real world project that demonstrates what their skills are. And some of these developers may you know, even wanna go work on a professional project pro bono or something like that uh, for a short amount of time or for a reduced rate. That's what I typically try to uh, get people to do is work for cheaper rather than free uh, just to get some experience and that may be something you can also do in this case all right and you know sometimes it it kind of stinks to work for free or to work for next to nothing but 
at, as a total beginner, what it, the value you're getting there is experience, okay? And that's worth something because that can then prove to other people the types of results that you can produce, and it's going to make it a lot easier to justify your value to the next client, uh, you know, boss, whatever it is, whoever's going to pay you. It's going to show you what, show them what you can do, uh, which will be for you really amazing. On top of your education, you know, your doctoral degree, all that kind of stuff, or maybe just the fact that you're pursuing these types of things. So that's the most important thing, all right? Proving that you can uh, produce results, all right? So I hope that helps answer your question. And I'll just hit on this last little part of your question. You said, what certification or courses do I need to become effective? So I've had people do my blockchain developer bootcamp who... Um, we're not necessarily trying to become coders. They just wanted to get a uh, you know in-depth understanding of how the technology works, and maybe they had a little appetite for getting their hands dirty with the code. I've had some people go through that and then go on to do other uh, you know non-technical parts of blockchain uh, in another job or something like that. So um, I highly recommend the boot camp. Uh, you can find more information about that down below at dapuniversity.com forward slash boot camp. All right, so that is the most important uh, part, the most important thing if you want to succeed in blockchain. So I'm going to answer another question here, but quick pause. Um, I want to give a shout out to QuickNode, my friends over there at this company. It's really hard to run your own Ethereum node. You know, you have to sync the entire blockchain. It takes up a lot of space in your computer or web server or whatever. Uh, but QuickNode is basically just an Ethereum node as a service where you can sign up and you know, get your access to your own dedicated Ethereum node. Now they have a free tier for you to use on the Ethereum mainnet. So go check out QuickNode at quicknode.io um, and take advantage of this new free plan that they offer. Okay, so I got one more question that I wanna answer today. So Gunna, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, he says, I'm an avid follower of Dappy Diversity and have uh, learned a lot of things from my videos. Awesome, thank you, I'm glad they've helped. So the most recent video series, uh, he watched the IPFS file upload uh, where I mentioned in the end that you could possibly encrypt the files using asymmetric key encryption before uploading to IPFS. Could I please upload a video or series showing how we can encrypt these files? Okay, so um, that's a great question. So let's see here. I'm gonna pull up the tutorial here on my screen. So this is the tutorial he's talking about here up on my screen. And uh, basically what I show you to do is create uh, files and upload them to the blockchain in, in one sense um, by using something called IPFS. So basically IPFS is a decentralized file storage mechanism that allows you to store files um, off chain, like off of a blockchain, but still in a decentralized fashion. So it's spread across a bunch of nodes in a network, kind of like how a blockchain works. And you don't really want to store files on a blockchain, really. Um, that's what IPFS is for. So uh, I show you how to do that in the tutorial. You can check that out if you want to. But he's asking, like, if I wanted to store sensitive information on IPFS, like let's say I wanted to store a medical record or something like that, how would I do it? Um, because really what you need to do is encrypt the file before it goes into IPFS. Um, and I mentioned in that video that you could use, like, some sort of asymmetric uh, encryption where basically you have some sort of key that allows you to uh, encrypt the file and then put it on the... Uh, I put it on storage on IPFS and then decrypt it when uh, it comes back off. So I'll show you how to do this uh, with a whiteboard. I don't have time to do a full step-by-step -step coding tutorial, but I'll just show you really quickly. So basically, what you would do is uh, I'll put my whiteboard here up on the screen. I'm going to do some text here. All right. So you have a file. All right. And then this is going to get uploaded to IPFS. So point here and then IPFS. But the problem is if you upload this directly without any kind of encryption, then you know whoever finds the file can see all the information inside of it. So what you want to do is encrypt and then basically, you know, you can do that and then process it and then upload it to IPFS and then when you read it back off, you want to decrypt. All right, like this. So you fetch it and then you decrypt it. And then you do it here. Awesome. There's a few different ways to do this. Um, what I would recommend is having some kind of encryption key where you basically do the encryption and process the file before it goes into IPFS and you keep a track record of like, you know, where that file is, probably on the blockchain. 
and then you uh, pull it off of IPFS and you just decrypt it uh, with the same key in order to fetch the contents of the file and display it back to the user. Okay, you can do this in a variety of ways. Um, you know, you could do the encryption. Uh, maybe client side, it might be kind of heavy for your browser. You could do it server side or something like that, or maybe have some sort of service that does the encryption itself. But whatever you, wherever you decide to do it, basically, you just need to process it, handle the encryption, put an IPFS, keep track of the uh, key in some way, and then display it back uh, here, okay? So maybe it's a mobile app, so maybe you do all the uh, encryption on the client itself. Maybe each individual user has its own key that handles the encryption for their specific files. There's lots of different ways you could do it, okay? But regardless, you just basically need to handle the encryption before it goes on IPFS and then bring it back off and show it that way. So client, server, mobile device, you know, lots of different places you could do that. All right, so hope that helps. If anybody else has been watching this IPFS tutorial and they want some ideas on how to handle encryption so they can store a file securely, that's the way that you can do it. All right, so I hope you all like this video. Uh, again, shoot me your questions in the comment section down below. I'll be trying to answer more of those here on my YouTube channel. Hope you all like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And if you want to take the next step in mastering blockchain, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.